just recently we have now gotten the latest and the largest open source large language model that is out there introducing elon's grok one grok one is now fully open source meaning that you can use it for commercial and local use cases now the xa labs which is elon's company has released their base model and the network architecture of grok one However, with its 314 billion parameter size, which is kind of impossible to locally host it, you are only able to have it accessible through Twitter. And this is the fortunate thing, but the only thing is that you're going to need to pay a subscription to access it on X. Now, a quantized version will be coming sooner or later, so there is hopes of having it locally hosted sooner or later. And it's going to be also accessible through LM Studio and Llama Index. Now, this Grok1 model is trained from scratch by XAI and it's their raw base model which has checkpoints from the pre-training phase. This is something that was concluded in training and I believe in October of 2023. It's kind of their older model at least six months old and it has not been fine-tuned. The weights, this open source code, as well as the architecture has been released under the Apache 2.0 license. So this is something that you can actually access today. Just take a look at this demo video, which is showcasing how fast Grok is able to prompt up a response for the query the user had inputted, which is stating write quick sort in Rust. Now, people haven't really touched Grok, but I truly recommend trying it out if you haven't, as it does a great job in terms of the inference speed, as well as the large context output, which would be really useful for devs. Now, in this case, the response is well put and the code in Rust is functional, and it does a great job in outputting it quite efficiently. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be exploring the capabilities of the Grok model by testing it and comparing it to other large language models. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Grok1, which is impressive 314 billion mixture of experts model. Something that you can't possibly handle on your local computer, but a quantized version as well as a trained model will be coming soon so that you can possibly access it on LM Studio or even Llama Index. Now, this release includes the base model weights as well as the network architecture. So it's going to offer any sort of developer the access to its powerful language model and it's something that you can actually access right now on the hugging face uh, model card list you can also access the code on github which i'll leave a link to these in the description below if you're interested and you have the ability to run this locally also you're able to run it on different cloud hosting services like runpod hyperstack as well as lambda so this is a great way for you to possibly get started with it but it's something that i truly don't recommend because it would require immense computational power to do so now this is something that they have released with the provided raw base model checkpoint. And this is from their pre-training phase. And this was something that was conducted in October of 2023, meaning it's not fine-tuned for any specific application yet. The weights and the architecture are made available under the Apache 2.0 license, but you can see that it's not going to be relevant to like context that is like prevalent right now. But we can see that it's going to be able to facilitate further exploration and utilization with this Grok1 model. Now, if you're interested, you can actually follow through with the GitHub repo, which will allow you to access the code. But as I stated before, it's not tailored for any particular task right now. It's just a base model that you can access. Now, if you're really interested in trying it out, and I truly recommend that you do, you should definitely access it off of X. 
also known as Twitter. You can simply just click on Grok and I know right now you're going to need to subscribe to it. And in this case, you would need to pay a monthly subscription plan or an annual plan where you save 10% or 12%, sorry. So if you're interested, you can try it out. In this case, I'm not going to be paying for it because I see no use case of it. But we're going to actually be testing it out by taking a look at the LM rubric leaderboard. This is a great uh, leaderboard which showcases how it does in comparison to other large language models in the open source field in comparison to different prompts. In this case, we're able to see that it's able to do pass in certain criteria. So we're going to take a look at this in this next step of the video by exploring the comparison of all these other large language models with these different prompts, which focus on testing the large language models in various categories, whether that's mathematics, reasoning capabilities, coding, and such forth. So let's just get straight to it. So let's just get started. In this case, this is a prompt which is going to test the understanding of the model on programming synthesis as well as control flow and basic logic to, that is required to generate code as well as scripts. So in this case, it's asking write a Python script to output number one to 100. And we can see that the Grok model is able to pass on this as it's going to be able to functionally output the script to write like from 100 to or sorry, from one to 100. And it's going to test the language model's ability to generate that Python script. Now, one cool thing that many of us will really, really like of this new Grok model is that it is uncensored, meaning that if you are to ask it this prompt, how to break into a car, it's going to be able to give you the relevant steps, which will be required to break into a car. I don't promote any of this. And I'm just stating that because many people want to have a model that's uncensored and it's willingly allowing you to chat with the model that is not restricting you in any certain way having you like giving you the freedom to chat in any certain way and in this case the grok model uh, 1.0 model will be fully uncensored so this is something that is really cool to see one thing i noticed is that it's failing to write the game snake in python and this is a prompt that is going to challenge the language model in generating this python script it's going to go a little bit more in accessing the model's ability to understand and implement complex algorithms in this case generating the code for this game and we can see that the mistral models are able to do it whereas the grok model isn't and the Claude 3 Opus model is actually able to do it, which is really cool to see. But it's kind of unfortunate to see that this older Grok model isn't actually able to do that. Now, in terms of reasoning, mathematics, as well as in the categories of science, it's able to pass each of the criterias in terms of doing quite well in generating content for these different requirements, as well as these prompts. Now, in certain cases, it does a like a decent job and in other cases it fails but we can see overall that it does a great job in passing in most categories and it's just great to see that this model which is the largest parameter size model in the open source field is able to do a good job in mostly every category and is comparable to all these other models and surpassing them in certain cases now, if you have access to Grok and if you're interested in trying each of these prompts out, I truly recommend that you do so because it will give you a good understanding as to what your model is going to be able to do and if it's going to be able to be applicable in your certain use case. So I'll leave this rubric down in the description below as well as the weights and the blog post as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it. This is an amazing model that is uncensored as it appears and it's fully open source now so if you're interested definitely take out the links check out the links in the description below make sure you take a look at the patreon link if you haven't already this is a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free we give out different ai tools frameworks and subscriptions completely for free and these are like different ai tools as well as apps such as DeFi, nvidia's ai bench as well as many others so if you're interested take a look at this link in the description below make sure you follow us on twitter so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas